estamos iniciando el día 2 y el día de hoy vamos a ir a la parte este de la ciudad de Vancouver. Estamos en Inside, este es el centro de la zona pues más conflictiva y llena de drogas y nosotros estamos viendo lo que ven atrás de mí y no puedo decir mucho es el edificio verde y este edificio verde ahí entran en, por una puerta las personas y por otra salen ya drogados eh, es increíble nosotros estamos aquí pues con el objetivo de mostrar un poco esto y, y que quede registrado como parte de las visitas, no nos dejaron entrar, no nos dejaron tomar fotos, tomé tres fotos nada más y salieron a decirnos que no podíamos. represent new languages and behaviors, and they're directly influencing consumer habits. They're positioned at the top of the influence pyramid, and are aspirational to those younger than them, and inspirational to the older. Today's young generation, known as Generation Y, G, we, globalists, digital youth, millennials, whatever, is the largest in absolute numbers on a global perspective. And they have crazy buying power when compared to their parents when they were young. It's funny because this important role of the youth today has its roots precisely in the baby boomer generation. This isn't happening by pure coincidence. Globalized consumerism promotes aesthetic and behavioral connections with other youth around the world. The internet is allowing personal content to gain stratospheric dimensions where everything can be remixed. For just a few days, content can turn into various global internet memes. Obviously, all of this has consequences. The access of information and possibilities is causing this young generation to have general chronic anxiety. It's getting more and more necessary for them to choose the right filters to organize their experiences with all of that content and people in their lives. The fear of being overwhelmed and lost among the crowd forces them to use hyperbolic languages to express themselves. I am like so in love with Twilight. Let it be alone! It's not always easy to understand what millennials are saying. That's because they've developed a non-linear way of thinking that exactly reflects the language of the internet, where an infinity of subjects can be followed at the same time. For these millennials, it is natural to start out with something and end up in somewhere else. But do not panic, it's organic. Today is cool to know and be various things at the same time. It's a lot different than in the 80s when young people had radical vision about the power of groups. You were one thing or another, 
In the 90s, the power of the tribes was no longer such a cool thing to be associated with. Some started calling themselves normal in order to pass through the different groups. Today, being normal has become boring. And, in spite of neutralizing differences, it is cool to express them. It is possible to be a surfer, DJ, rocker, nerd, cinephile, designer at the same time. We're talking about the most plural youth generation in history. It is a plurality which guarantees that the young can simultaneously recognize themselves even with their personal differences. Their new extended social network has resulted in a bigger number of short-term style personal relationships. It is also visible in their work, in which traditional career plans and hierarchical systems are losing strength. More and more, they want to unite work with pleasure. But that's not so they can achieve a hedonistic lifestyle. Pleasure comes in pre-programmed breaks. Young millennials are pragmatic. They're also more realistic. Their big idols aren't the most idealized figures, but instead are common people who realize small possible dreams that aren't utopic. More than ever before, in order to understand the world, it is necessary to understand these youths who are the catalysts to big changes. Estamos en Jacob's Well Worship, que es un proyecto local, una mujer que hace 10 años estuvo predicando en las calles, decidió que su mensaje iba a durar poco si ella no lo hacía un legado. Así que rentaron este lugar al concepto de poder compartir con los pobres y poderles ayudar en un espacio comunitario interdenominacional. que me hace seguir, Cristo, gracias. Hola, soy Rosy, soy inglesa y he disfrutado este año pasar tiempo um, hacer amigos con las personas. Mi llamado es de um, amar las personas um, de todos los uh, tipos de... Es una comunidad de cristianos, vivimos juntos uh, en estas casas, uh, en, una, en un lugar que es muy pobre. Um, aquí tienen muchos uh, que usan drogas y que no tienen casas. Y queremos uh, invitarlos uh, en nuestra casa um, como una familia, como una comunidad. Nosotros creemos que Jesús um, nos enseña um, que necesitamos invitar los que son los más pobres en el mundo a uh, entrar en nuestra casa. If you want to join us um, on the website, uh, there are some steps to joining. Um, we want people to do some reading, to and do some studying before they join us. Um, but we also take interns who are interested in coming for one month to learn. 
um, just to learn about Christian community, uh, about what it's like to try to follow Jesus amongst the poor. se desarrolla un contexto familiar de comunidad todas estas personas vienen de familias disfuncionales y es por eso que cuando ellos se encuentran en esta mesa y todos comen juntos ellos descubren un ambiente familiar que se había perdido porque hay una necesidad social de recuperar a la familia y este es el futuro